Hey guys, it's teacher Anya, and we are going to be doing uh, some phonics today. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot of pages to get through um, in our time together today. So, all right, let's start with our first letter. It's the letter N. So N, 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 N. And this word here is nest, okay? Nest, where the birds put their eggs, right? Okay. Let's say the name of each picture together. Ready? Nose. Nose. Very good. Nut. Nut. Very good. Net. Net. Okay, this is pen. Pen. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Probably profile. Profile means when we look at something on the side, okay? So when we look at somebody in profile, okay, we're looking at the side of their face, okay? So this is profile, okay? All right, cool. And then this word is what? Can, right? Can. Okay, awesome. Very good. Let's go on together or tin, okay? It's a tin can. You can call it tin or can. In English, tin is British English, can is American English, or you can call it the two together, a tin can. It doesn't matter, okay? All right, Nan, that's someone's name. Nap, tin, pan, nat, man. Okay, these are easy words to read. Nice job. Okay, words to know because we use them all the time. An, and. Okay, so. Nan and I hear a splash. Okay, let's read this one more time. Nan and I hear a splash. Very good. Can you read to Teacher Anya and she will listen to you read? Very good. Okay. Nan and I hear a splash. Very good. Okay. I see and hear a bird. Okay, good. I see and hear a bird. Very good. Can you read out loud to teacher Anya and she will listen to you? Very nice. Okay. I see and hear a bird. Very good. Okay, we're going to read about Nat and Tip. Okay, so we know they live in a big city. We can see the buildings. They're in a park. Okay, so who do you think this is? I don't know. What's this? It looks like a leash, right? So something that we put around a dog's neck, right? So let's see what's up. Okay, so that's probably Tip. And he is not wearing a leash, so he is free. So let's see what happens to them, okay? Nat and Tip like the ball. Good. Let's read it one more time together. Nat and Tip like the ball. Okay, excellent. Can you read out loud to Teacher Anya and she will listen to you? Very good. Okay. Nat and Tip like the ball. Very good. Let's go on to the next one. Let's see what else they like. Okay, so we see some birds, some trees. They're having a drink. Okay, so let's see what this is. Nat and Tip like to sip. Okay, so remember, sip means to drink something very slowly, okay? So Nat and Tip like to sip, okay? Very good. Let's go ahead and read it, please. I will listen to you. Okay, excellent. Nat and Tip like to sip. Sip. Very good. Okay, let's keep reading. Okay, here are their friends. They have a soccer ball. It looks like they just came from a soccer game because they're wearing their uniforms. Okay, so they look the same. Nat and Tip see the children. Okay, let's read this together one more time. Nat and Tip see the Children, very good. All right, excellent. Okay, let's read one last time together. Nat and Tip see the children. Excellent, very good. Okay, let's keep going. What else do they see? 
Okay, what's that? Yeah, it's a worker. Okay, so what is he doing? He is building a fence. Okay, so he's building a fence. So let's see what they see here. Okay, they don't see anything. What's happening here? Nat and Tip hear the hammer. Okay, good. Let's try again. Nat and Tip hear the hammer. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, I'll read with Teacher Anya, please, one last time. Nat and Tip hear the hammer. Okay, it's probably very loud. It's banging on that fence, right? Okay, so it's loud, loud, loud. All right, cool. Let's see what happens next. Okay, there's a girl. There's a butterfly. There's another dog. Okay, so let's see what happens. Nat and Tip hear the dog. Okay, excellent. Nat and Tip hear the dog. Very good. Okay, so Nat and Tip hear the dog. Okay, got it? Not so hard, right? Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're going to read a different story now. So let's read the title of our story, Tim and Nan. Do you think Tim and Nan are chickens? Let's find out. Okay, I'm guessing this is Tim and this is Nan, okay, and they are not chickens. Okay, the chicken is saying something. What's it saying in English? Cluck, cluck, okay? Cluck, cluck, cluck. That's what the chicken noise sounds like in English, okay? Let's read our sentence together, please, okay? Tim and Nan hear the hen. Very good. Okay, one more time. Let's read. Tim and Nan hear the hen. Excellent job. Okay, you read and Teacher Anya will listen to you. Okay, very good job. Tim and Nan hear the hen. Very good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, they see a farmer. He's driving a tractor, okay, a big green tractor. We use this to plow the fields, okay. Tim and Nan hear the tractor, okay. So the tractor is very loud because it's a very big machine, okay. So Tim and Nan hear the tractor, okay. Good, nice job, very good. Okay, one more time, ready? Tim and Nan hear the tractor. Excellent job, okay? Very nice job reading. All right, cool. Let's look at this. What do you see here? Yeah, I see some corn. That looks good. That tastes like summertime, okay? Tim and Nan see the corn, okay? So the farmer is probably growing the Corn, okay, what color is the corn? Yeah, it's yellow, right? Very good. Okay, let's read our sentence together one more time. Tim and Nan see the corn. Okay, very good. One more time with Teacher Anya. Tim and Nan see the corn. Very good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, there's a barn here. These tall things in English are called silos. It's kind of a funny word. Okay, and a silo we use to hold grain. Okay, so when they harvest all the grain, like wheat or corn or rice, they need some place to keep it, okay, until they can use it. So they put it in these big things called silos. Okay, so there's a barn here, and there's a bunch of big silos. Okay, two silos. All right, so let's see. Tim and Nan see the barn. Okay, the barn is the big red building. It's very, very easy to see, okay? So Tim and Nan see the barn. Okay, awesome. Can you read for Teacher Anya and she'll listen to you? Very good. Tim and Nan see the barn. Excellent. All right, let's keep going. Okay, what do they see here? In English, how do we say this? Oink, oink. Okay, it's kind of funny to say in English, okay? So oink, oink. Okay, I see a big pig. 
And it looks like his ears are butterfly wings, right? They're very weird ears, okay? All right, let's read. Tim and Nan hear the pig. Good job. Okay, read with teacher Anya, please. Tim and Nan hear the pig. Very good. Can you read this sentence by yourself? I think you can. It's pretty easy. Go for it. Very good. Okay, so Tim and Nan hear the pig. Excellent. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, readers to writers. So ideas, these are things that we think of in our head. Okay, let's read the sentences. Look at the sentence that Sarah wrote. The sentence tells about a sound she hears at home. Okay, let's read these sentences together one more time. Ready? Look at the sentence Sarah wrote. The sentence tells about a sound she hears at home. Okay, so Sarah's model, remember model means example. I hear Emma crying at home. Okay, let's read the sentence one more time. I hear Emma crying at home. Okay, so Emma is a baby. She's probably Sarah's baby sister. And what does she do all day at home? She cries. Okay, so when Sarah is telling us about something that she hears at her house, she hears her sister Emma crying. Okay. Okay. Look at the sentence that Tony wrote. The sentence tells what Tony hears in the city. Okay, let's read this together one more time. Look at the sentence that Tony wrote. The sentence tells about what Tony hears in the city. Okay, I hear a car in the city. Okay, so let's look at his picture. Let's read this sentence one more time. I hear a car in the city, okay? And the car is like beep, beep, okay? So you can hear it. It's really loud because it's honking at the other cars, okay? So that's what Tony is hearing in the city, okay? I hear a car in the city. Okay, we know what this is. There's a lot of phonics coming, okay? So let's do it together. Okay, so this helps us grow into critical readers, writers, and thinkers. One of the things that we're looking for here is mistakes, okay? So if you see a mistake, say something so you can learn because your English is good now. So you should be able to see when you have mistakes in some of these sentences, okay? All right, let's look at our weekly rhyme. Let's read it together, okay? This is pretty long, but I think we can read it together. The people on the bus go up and down. Up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. Okay, so all through the town, the bus goes and the people go up and down in the bus. Okay, the wheels on the bus go round and round. The lights on the bus go blink, blink, blink. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 okay? The wiper, right, the thing that moves the rain off of the glass, right? The wiper on the bus goes swish, 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 okay? Good. Let's read this together one more time, okay? You're used to probably singing this song, but we're reading it, so we learn to say the words really, really well. Ready? The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round. The lights on the bus go blink, blink, blink. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. The wiper on the bus goes swish, swish, swish. Okay, nice job reading that. Let's keep going. Category, remember our category is a group of things that are the same. So our category this week is sound words. Okay, so words that tell us about a sound or what a sound might sound like. Okay, 
sound words describable. Is that a word? No. So <laughs> sound words describe noises that people, animals, and things make, okay? So sound words describe noises that people, animal, and things make, okay? So that's pretty easy. They tell us what something sounds like, okay? Which one of the five senses is used with sound words? Hearing, okay? Because we're listening for a sound. Can we see a sound? No. Can we taste a sound? Not really, right? So we have to hear a sound, okay? All right, we're going to talk about the following word, the verse, the song verse, and we're going to listen for the song, for the sound words, okay? All right, so Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, easy. And on his farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. Any sound words here? With a moo, moo here and a moo, moo there. Any sound words? Moo. Okay, good job. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, what song do you, what sound word do you hear in this song? Yeah, moo. What animal makes that sound? Cow. Very good. Okay. Okay. Right. We're going to read this thing. Okay. A train can choo. Okay. A cow can moo. A lion can roar. My grandma can snore, right? When she's sleeping, she snores really, really loud. Okay. So let's talk about the sounds that these animals make. What sound does the horse make? The horse says, Nay, right? So a horse neighs. Okay, what sound does a bird make? Does a bird go tweet, 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 tweet? Okay, so a bird tweets. Okay, what about a tiger? Do they roar? Definitely. What sound does the owl make? Do they say hoo, hoo? Right? Okay, helicopter is like right? The helicopter makes a very big sound from its blades, okay? The thing that keeps it in the air. These blades are spinning and they're making a lot of noise, okay? Does a bear roar? Yes, very loudly. Okay, if we hear a watch, is it tick, 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 tick? If you put it in your ear, next to your ear, can you hear it ticking? Yeah, right? Okay, turkey makes a sound too. It goes gobble, 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 gobble. So a turkey gobbles, okay? And a mosquito. Mosquito makes that annoying sound in your ear at nighttime. Okay, so a mosquito makes that really weird sound, or a fly, right? So a fly, they both make the same sound, that sound. It's very annoying, right? Okay, so all these animals make a lot of different sounds. Please name other farm animals and the sounds they make. So a duck says quack, a pig says oink. A cat says meow, and a sheep says ba. Okay, you guys can sing the old McDonald's song again yourself, and you can put in these new words, okay? So, for example, for a duck with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, okay? So you can put the words in yourself into the song, okay? All right, let's review our phonics. Let's read these words. Nap, tan, nip. Pin, Tim, Nan. Okay, let's put the sounds together. N plus A plus P is nap. N plus A is na. That's not a word, it's just a sound. A plus N is an. I plus N is in. N plus I is ni. It's not a word, it's a sound. I plus M is im, not a word, a sound, okay? N, 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 nest, okay? Nest. All right, cool, let's keep going. Okay, we're going to read this together, all right? And I'm going to circle the words for you. 
that start with the letter N, okay? So we have a lot here. Okay, so Nelly built a lovely, let's try to make another circle. Oh, wow, that's really annoying, it went away. Okay, so Nelly built a lovely nest, a lovely nest, the very best. Nelly built a lovely nest, and that is where she stayed. All her friends said, fly away, not today, not today. No, I cannot fly away. Oh, no, I never will. Nellie built a lovely nest. Lovely nest, the very best. Nellie built a lovely nest, and that is where she stayed. Okay, does this rhyme have a lot of N words in it? Yeah, a lot, right? So we're going to read it again, and as we read it, we're going to erase all the circles around the end. So you have to read with me and keep up. Okay, ready? Nellie built a lovely nest, a lovely nest, the very best. Nellie built a lovely nest, and that is where she stayed. All her friends said, fly away. Not today. Not today. No, I cannot fly away. Oh, no, I never will. Nellie built a lovely nest, lovely nest, the very best. Nellie built a lovely nest, and that is where she stayed. Nice job reading that. Okay, let's keep going with our practice. Say the N sound if you hear the sound at the end of the word. Fan. Queen. Wolf, sunset, or we can just say sun, spider web, no, chin, chin, yes, very good. Please say the sound at the beginning of the word, okay, so at the front of the word, okay, nail, spoon, nurse. Pen, nine, nut. Very good. Nice job. Okay, high frequency words. High frequency means we use them a lot. Okay, so let's read our words together. And, to, a, uh, and like. Okay, read the following sentences and point to and. We will circle the word and. Okay, I like berries and vegetables. I like them both. I can write and sing. We see a rabbit and a kitten. Okay, so and means this and that. Okay, so two things usually. All right, so let's read the sentences again together and we'll erase the circles. I like berries and vegetables. I can write and sing. We see a rabbit and kitten, okay? Very good, excellent job reading those sentences and using the word and, very nice. Okay, a sentence tells about something or someone doing an action. Easy, right? A sentence always begins with a capital, big letter, uppercase, and ends with a punctuation mark, like a period or a, or a question mark, right, or an exclamation point. Okay, please advise, so please tell if the following sentences are complete. Why? I smell a rose. Am I, who is the someone? I, what am I doing? I'm smelling a rose. Am I talking about someone or something doing an action? Yes, this is a complete sentence, okay? I see a gray cat. What's wrong here? That should be a big I, right? I see a gray cat. Is this a complete sentence? Yeah, because I am doing an action. I am seeing a cat. Okay, so this is a complete sentence. It needs a capital I and a period at the end. Okay, so the punctuation is wrong. Sam hears a dog howl. Okay, is this a complete sentence? 
Yeah, because Sam is hearing the dog, okay? S needs to be big, and there needs to be a period here. So the, the punctuation is wrong again, but the sentence is a complete sentence. Okay, last one, Tess. Is this wrong? Is this a sentence? No, it's someone's name. Is it wrong? Yes, because we need a big T, okay? So someone's name is always capitalized. It always has an uppercase letter, okay? Okay, let's do our shared writing. Please name some sounds you hear outdoors, at home, and at school. What do you hear outside? So birds chirping, you might hear dogs barking. What else? Maybe cars honking. Okay, what are some sounds you hear at school? Maybe people talking. Okay, what else? Do, what other sounds do we hear at school? Yeah, maybe laughing. So kids laughing, like at recess time. Okay, what else do we hear at school? Yeah, maybe we hear our teacher talking, right? Okay, so at home we might hear music playing. We might hear our mom or dad talking, right? What other sounds do we hear at home? Yeah, maybe we hear, okay, like dinner is being cooked. So maybe we hear like the sound of food cooking. Okay, that's a very good sound that makes us happy. So there's lots of different things that we can hear, right? Dogs barking, birds chirping, and cars honking outside. At school, we can hear people talking, kids laughing, teacher talking, right, maybe. Mom or dad talking at home, music playing, or maybe the sound of food cooking, okay? Write a sentence using an idea from the above list, okay? I hear birds chirping outdoors. I hear music playing at home. I hear my teacher talking at school, okay? I hear my mom cooking dinner. So there's a bunch of different sentences that you can make off of the things that we just listed, okay? Okay, let's look at the interactive sentences. So I hear dogs outdoors. I feel happy outdoors, okay? I hear kids at school, okay? So we're talking about the things that we hear and how we feel when we hear them or when we go to these places, okay? So I hear dogs outdoors or birds or cats. I feel happy outdoors or cold or scared, okay? I hear kids at school or maybe I hear teachers at school too, okay? Okay, independent writing, writing that you do by yourself, write sentences. This is spelled wrong. We're missing an N. Actually, this is messed up. Sentences, okay? And check for the following, okay? Did I write about something I hear? Did I describe, did I tell about what I hear? Does my sentence tell where I heard the sound? Does my sentence begin with a capital letter and end with a period, okay? So let's write an example sentence. Okay, I hear my mom cooking dinner in the kitchen. Okay, let's read this sentence together. Did I write about something I hear? Yep, my mom cooking dinner. Did I describe what I hear? Yep, okay, I hear my mom cooking. Does my sentence tell where? Yep, in the kitchen. Does my sentence begin with a capital letter? and end with a period. Yes, this is a very good sentence. So after our class is over, you should practice writing these same sentences so that you get good at them, okay? Okay, our homework. Write sentences about sounds you can hear at school, outdoors, at home, etc. Okay, etc. means on and on and on. All right, so you know what to do here because we just did a bunch of examples. Teacher Anya just wrote one for you. So you need to write some sentences, probably two for each place, okay? So two for school, two for the outdoors, and two for at home. Talk about where you hear things and what they come from, okay? Why you're hearing them. Who is making the sound? 
and where the sound is coming from. Okay, so you can show your mom and dad when you're done. You did an excellent job today with your English class, and I will see you next time for another lesson, okay? Very nice job today. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. Zai Jen.